the DJI Mini 3 Pro has got a very, very serious problem that I don't think a lot of people are talking about, but I'll be discussing it right here in this video. So I've been flying the Mini 3 Pro now for about a year, and my experience with the drone has been super positive. Like, to be honest, this is most probably one of the best drones I've ever owned. Look, I'm not a drone expert or anything like that. The only other drone I owned prior to this was a Phantom 3 Advanced, I believe, and that was a couple of years ago. So after getting the Mini 3 Pro, I was super excited because it's got quite a lot of features for, you know, such a small drone. And those features are very much welcome. However, in more recent months, I've really started to struggle with mission failures and so on. I'm not sure if it's just like the season that we're in right here in Western Australia. So right now we've just gotten into spring here in Australia. And I've just noticed that my mission success rate has really started to drop. Now, as a drone flyer, I mostly just do hyperlapse photography and more specifically waypoint flying. And, you know, when I first got the drone months ago, it was perfectly fine. Like I was able to start and complete my mission successfully without any glitches or issues. And, you know, that was more sort of getting out of summer and into the winter. However, more recently now, a lot of my missions just start to fail. And part of the reason is that the drone is just so small. It just completely gets annihilated by the wind and the elements. And it's something that's strange because it never happened before. So that's why I'm starting to think maybe it could be just a seasonal thing because at the beginning of the year, I never really had this problem at all. And now all of a sudden I will go out there and I'll start flying and I'll kid you not guys, like my mission success rate is literally less than 50%. Like the drone just does weird stuff. It is so frustrating because I've been out there now, like I think three or four times and I've gone out there with, you know, five missions planned and then you just come back with one successful mission. And even that one successful mission is after a number of tries. I'll show you guys some examples in a little bit. It's actually something that's becoming a serious problem for me because I've been out there and I've tried so many times to just make the drone do something in a certain way and it simply just isn't able to do it. And the weird thing is that, you know, with varying conditions up there, sometimes it actually does sort of like clear off and the wind does settle and the drone still just does some very weird things. And yes, I have updated it to the latest firmware. It is running the latest firmware right now. I haven't crashed it since the day that I bought it. It's a perfectly fine and functioning drone. So let's just jump into the computer so I can show you some of my failed missions so I can give you an idea of exactly the kind of issues that I'm having, guys. What I'll be showing you guys is basically the videos that have been generated by the hyperlapse feature on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. That would be a much quicker way of doing it rather than me showing you the stills from the RAW file. So look, let's keep it simple. Obviously this is still an aircraft even though it's a quadcopter. So you have your pitch, roll and your axes. Obviously this being a quadcopter, the pitch and roll axes are a little bit weird because you know, you've got four rotors um, that keep it in flight. The first one that I just wanted to show you guys was, so this hyperlapse was very interesting because I flew the drone on my ultralight battery. I used that battery to basically pick my waypoints. And I basically told the drone that I want you to start here and I want you to finish here. I only picked two points. When I landed the drone, switched out the battery for the extra capacity battery so it could actually complete the mission, got back into the air and I I, you know, clicked start. It said it was going to the starting point. And then it got to this point, which is completely random. Just to let you guys know, the first waypoint that I picked, the stadium was basically in the center of the frame. The shot was basically meant to pan with the stadium in the center and sort of like rotate around it. So I didn't want to use circle mode because I've had so many issues with circle mode and it just never really circles what I want it to circle. So when the drone got back into the air, it started here. And I was literally so confused about it because when I framed it, the stadium was in the center of the frame. And as you can see here, the drone is just completely doing something random. To make matters even worse is that when it continues to do the hyperlapse, as you can see, it starts to rotate in a completely different direction. So the drone is rotating right when it's actually meant to be rotating left. And I thought it would slowly basically just drift back into its flight path that I'd set it. But instead it did something completely random and actually started yawing in the wrong direction. So it's actually meant to be going left 
in other words, revealing more of the stadium. And here it's actually going to the right. So I stopped that mission and then I tried it again. And when I tried it again, this time it was a little better. Mind you, this is the exact same mission, guys. So I haven't changed anything. So basically all that I did was just stop the hyperlapse and then literally just start it again. The drone literally starts the mission in a slightly different place again. And this time more of the stadium is revealed, but it's still not the shot that I composed when I was basically picking my waypoint. And as you can see here, it does a little bit of a better job in terms of it sort of tracks back onto the right path a little bit. But then as you can see, it just sort of starts going back right. And to be fair, the wind that day wasn't even that bad. Look, it was a fair bit windy, but it was nothing serious. I've flown in those conditions a lot of times before and actually the drone has performed better. So the next shot I wanna show you guys, this is also a hyperlapse. And basically this is a shot where I was trying to get the drone to do a forward movement hyperlapse in the city. And I'll show you the video here. And as you can see, for some weird reason, in hyperlapse mode, my DJI Mini 3 Pro will now detect objects that just don't even exist. As you can see from this preview, what's happened here is that the drone has started the waypoint mission and then it's just sort of stopped because it's like, oh, hey, obstacle detected, so I'm just not gonna fly. When this first happened, I was like, oh, wow, that's a really good feature because, you know, I was probably gonna crash into something. And then upon further investigation, I actually started to realize that there was actually nothing there. And as you can tell from the frame here, there's literally nothing. It's dead center in the middle of the street. The building's on the sides. There's absolutely nothing in the middle. And I literally tried everything to fix this. So I put the drone in sport mode, hoping that obstacle avoidance will be switched off. Still didn't work. And then I tried to actually go into the settings manually and turn off obstacle avoidance and it still wouldn't work. What's weird about it is that in this particular case, as you can see, it just stops its movement but continues taking the hyperlapse shots. Um, this was now early in the morning. You will notice that the drone did something similar. So it starts the hyperlapse uh, mission and it supposedly detects an obstacle in front of it. There is no obstacle, mind you, by the way, this was way over the river. But the weird thing is that this time it actually stops taking the shots. It says it detected an obstacle and there's literally nothing there so i make it continue again so there we go nearly a minute later it's happened again and i have to unpause it again and this just keeps happening i have no idea why wasn't happening before but now it's happening like all the time i'm getting really weird performance from my dji mini 3 pro in, in recent months guys and i have no idea what is going on by far the biggest issue that i'm having with the drone is just the wind performance the drone just completely gets annihilated in the wind guys and i'll show you so many previews like this where this drone so basically the way i set up this shot is that the drone is meant to fly basically straight backwards you know just the center line right here so in other words this resort that you have right here is meant to stay dead center in the middle of the frame and the drone is just meant to fly a straight line path backwards but instead look at what the drone does and again i feel like it's something weird to do with the yaw axis and the thing is what's so disappointing about this is just how inconsistent it is so the day when i went out to shoot the hyperlapse of the stadium just like 30 minutes after that failed mission that i showed you earlier i then got this shot and it was able to execute it perfectly you can see the drone is sort of wobbling a little bit but that's look that's fair enough it's obviously a windy day it's gonna have a hard time sort of fighting that wind. But as you can see, this time it just perfectly does exactly what I wanted it to do, which was just a basic fly in, fly out um, movement while doing the hyperlapse. Those are some of the issues I'm having with the DJI Mini 3 Pro guys. And it's actually a really big issue because if you think about it, my mission success rate has significantly deteriorated because I'll be in situations or scenarios where I'll go out there and obviously this is a drone, so you do have limited flight minutes. I will set my waypoints and I'll be like, look, let me start my mission. I'll spend a good, possibly a good 50% of the battery just messing around with the drone because it just keeps doing the wrong thing. So it'll go to its start point. It will either start and stop because it's supposedly detected an obstacle that's not even there, or it will start, 
but then it will just be doing random stuff. Like it'll be taking a hyperlapse and just, you know, flying a completely different path to the path that I specified. Once you start getting into these more advanced features and modes, that's when you really start to realize the limitations of the drone. Recently, I've just been having a complete nightmare. Like some of the shots are just ridiculous, guys. For me personally, this drone has been really good for me because it's just the perfect size with drone regulations getting a little crazy. It's the perfect size. I travel with it. I was just in Thailand too months ago I traveled with it it's the perfect drone to travel with perfect size now it sort of like gets into that weird place where it's like yes you do have a drone but is it reliable enough and I'd have to say right now my answer would probably be no because if I have to refly a mission you know three to five times just so that the drone can get it correct it's just unreliable let me know if you guys are dji mini 3 owners or just dji drone owners in general and if you've had any of these issues perhaps this is not just something that is isolated to just the mini 3 pro it could be other drones that do this as well i don't know let me know in the comment section below guys thanks for watching and hope that you enjoyed this video if you enjoy content like this make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to check out some of my other videos that i've made in the past i'll catch you folks in the next one.